I recently saw this graphic posted on social media and then I saw it again and again and it annoyed me because I think it is extremely misleading. I analyzed it to explain what is misleading about it and I read it the graphic without all the mistakes in it. It is a graphic which seems to show a very strong correlation between basically wealth of a country and the energy used by a country. And then it says there's no such thing as a low energy rich country. You can have questions about whether that's true. As a general statement, I think it's a good idea not to waste energy. Like we should use better technologies that use energy in a more efficient way. And we shouldn't do things that just use more energy than they need. But of course, some people disagree. Some people even invent technologies that are based on the idea that who wastes most energy gets a price for it and who think that wasting energy is a great idea. And of course, these people like to post this graphic. So you see it a lot posted on social media because it seems to support their message, right? If you want to have wealth, use more energy, that's great. It seems the original version of that graphic comes from a guy, he's called Todd Moss. He published it in his Substack newsletter. To give a bit of a context, he's mostly talking about increasing energy excess in very poor countries, which is generally a good thing, but I think it hides a lot of the, the complexity in that data to have such a simple truth. And there are just a lot of errors in these graphics. First of all, it confuses electricity consumption with energy consumption. The statement is about energy, but it plots electricity here. It also confuses income, which is like in the headline, and it's actually about GDP, which is also not the same thing. Also, it's not all countries. You can even see that there because like one version of this graphic has a dot at the top and the version that says all countries don't have that dot at the top. And also one of the graphics says the data is from the International Energy Agency. The other version, which is exactly the same, says it's from the US Energy Information Agency. I don't think they made exactly the same graphic with two different data sources. I think they just confused where their data was coming from. This is all very sloppy, but you can fix this and you would get a very similar graphic. But there's one thing, and that is, I think, the main problem with this. If you look closely at how the axis of that graphic is made, you may notice something. That the distance between 1000 and 2000 is a lot smaller than the distance between 1000 and 0. What this is doing is using a so-called logarithmic scale. The more you go up on the scale, the shorter the distances become. Just to illustrate what that means, this is completely random data, but it seems like it has some pattern, right? Because like, it's plotted on a logarithmic scale. So with a logarithmic scale, what you're basically doing is you're squeezing everything together, what's more on the upper or on the right side. And that distorts the data. I, I think it's just a bad idea to use a logarithmic scale in public communication. You can do this in a scientific context where you can assume maybe that your audience knows what that means. Even there, it's kind of tricky. And even there, you should probably have a good reason for it and you should probably explain why you're doing it. It's certainly not a good idea for something that you post on social media. These scales are not intuitive to understand and most people don't understand them. So what happens if you fix all these things and just use a normal scale, then you get something like this. Yeah, I took also the same data. I took it from the EIA because they provide that data for free. The income data is from the World Bank. The point size is the population. What you can take away here is that for the countries below a certain income, this relation is true. There you have this relation between energy and income. It is not as true as they want to make you believe, but there is a strong correlation. But on, within the richer countries, there are huge differences. Like Canada is three times as much as Denmark or Switzerland, and they are richer. Above a certain level, this relation is no longer true. 
What you obviously see there, if you look for rich countries with a rather low energy consumption, then you end up like Denmark and Switzerland are the most extreme. I mean, they're very rich. They have less than half of, for example, the United States. Switzerland, the Swiss government has made a study where they analyzed this. And because you might think Switzerland, okay, they have pharma industry, they have finance, maybe it's just that, they don't have a lot of heavy industry. And they asked exactly that question and came to the conclusion, yes, that plays a role. But the main reason is actually that they are basically doing the same things with less energy, also compared to other European countries, which are already quite energy efficient. So energy efficiency really matters here. Yeah.